day. Hang shit, you know what I'm saying? Still about to kill this you got the can on some big shit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta fuck it up on some big shit tonight, man. Don't really want to big, 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 I'm gonna jump in the crowd with this too. Father becoming the first, then the first actually for good for ourselves. We're putting that energy through the blessings, Father. Become again the action, your greatness, and only your energy, Father. Only God's energy. To remove all the negativity away from our life, Father. To watch out our friends, our family, our enemies, and don't be going to know, Father. Be a man we pray with your energy forever. The greatness. Amen. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Thank you for watching with our
Yeah, you just, like, check out the Life of Designer. You're on Twitter and announced the album coming out in July. So congratulations on the announcement, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, the Life of Designer is going to be crazy, man. It's a whole lot of music every, from every angle. You dig what I'm saying? Just a touch of just everything. It's just a playlist. I want you to listen to my album as when you throw it, if you just throw it on in the club and just have the whole party get crazy. You know what I'm saying? What, what was the thought process in creating the album and the tracks and the sound of well, just definitely just understanding just life itself. Everybody wants to party, everybody wants to vibe, everybody wants to feel good. He doesn't, like, I, like, I wanna, I'ma have lyrical, real punch, like, lyrical, lyrical, when it's just like, I'm lyrical, lyrical, I just wanna really make it hard. I wanna make it not just party, but a, a vibe, a feeling, an emotion, like, a wave. You could just, you think, you turn me on, like, you can think about me in the bad vibe and still catch all good vibes, you know what I'm saying? It's just always in the wave. So that's how I'm doing for the Life Designer album. Oh, my boy, Ron, Ron, he was in the crib, he had a beat. He was like, yo, I want you to write to this. Uh, uh, first, it was his song, you think I'm saying? So, I'm like, all right, bet, I'm gonna write to it. So now, I wrote to it, and then I wrote it, I made the hook. I said, give me two days, I'm gonna make this hook. We went to the studio next week, he's like, yo, all right, it's time to lay down. My bro did not know what to say, he was like, yo, nah, I can't do it. I'm like, all right, I got the hook, I made the hook. I'm about to, you know, go around the world, play my songs. I'm playing this song. I'm playing in the band. The ass time go around. I wound up meeting this in the way. I was dealing with somebody at the time named Fresher that had me going in um, and throwing radio and all that for some time for some of his songs in my early steps in my career. And I was just like, yo, he was like, yo, that song is hard. That song is hard. Zena, my manager who I'm at now, she like, yo, you gotta finish that. You ain't put nobody else on that. That gotta come out. So when that happened, it was just like, yo. It was time, you dig? That happened, I wound up putting the song out a year and a half later. Kanye West wound up hearing the song, started playing it, you dig what I'm saying? He called me in the middle of me being in the leather label bidding war. As that's going on, I'm like, yo, what's going on, you dig? And it just like, I wound up going to LA in the next couple of weeks and it was just gone. I was just, it was out of us. I have for you before I open the floor up for some questions from some people. Are, you know, what advice do you have for us trying to enter the music business, whether that be as an artist, a manager, whatever? Well, you told me just always know where you want to go. You told me always understand your standards, understand your, you feel me? It's a, it's a definite responsibility in this. It's a, like, you have to be very mature. You have to know how to take certain things. Some things is not all, always going to be your way. You feel me? It's a lot of times when sometimes you got to just shake hands and smile on a lot of people's face sometimes. But it is what it is. It's all about meeting life. It's all about creating and just building and getting together and just like making certain things happen. You dig what I'm saying? Like, it's, Evolution, you dig? Making the bigger, better music, the better art, you dig? Are there influences off stage, just hobbies or experiences that you bring with you on stage? Yeah, a lot of that. A lot of that. It's a lot of turn up. It's a lot of like just, just feeling it and just loving it. You dig what I'm saying? Like, but I, but when I'm on stage, I feel when I'm off stage, I still use that connection of being off stage to be on stage. It's just like it's a weird, it's a weird feeling. Like it's a, it's the most weirdest connection in the world. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, definitely use that. I'm uh, I'm out of music all day. Car, robbing the motherfucking building. What? What do you got now? What's up, man? You chilling, bro? Like six hours, I had to pull up. Back, baby, like, back, son. I don't know what the fuck this shit is, but we back, baby. Fuck all that. Back, baby. Back. Oh, you think I'm saying? New York City, in the building, in Chicago, DC, VA, Philly, Melly, Rally. You heard? You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking greatest DJ in the motherfucking world, in the motherfucking building, you know what I'm saying? You throw my money. Y'all got DJ, come on, bro. Yo, yo, excuse me. Yo, scared. Yo, scared. Yo, man, like, you great. Man, so like, yo, guys, like, just try to stay, man. It all started right here. With this, this trio over here, and me and me and Drewski used to have an overnight show, and Drewski was like, "Flex, you better play this record. You gotta play the fucking record." And, you know,
Now we here in Chicago. Now we here in Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Show. My man, my man Drew, how are you on my music choice? L.O.D. Oh, it up from here to there from movies. Yeah. The, the Fast and Furious, bitch, stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> well, the first one coming here, the first action, forgive us for all our sins before we ask for any of you to bless us, Father. We come again to ask you to just for all your energy, all God's energy to ask you to give us, just to, to pray for us, to ask for everything, all your energy, for our friends, our families, and even our enemies, for those that don't know either, Father, just for your energy to keep us positive, to keep us going forever. Through your name we pray. Amen. 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 All right, we're going to do the pub, all right? Yeah. L-O-D on three. One, two, three. L-O-D. They don't want to see you fall, they just want to drop it. I think we should sing happy birthday again. Him? Let's relight them. Uh, yeah, let's do the happy. Uh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. To Oh, 
<laughs> How does it feel, first and foremost, man? You've had so much success at such an early age before you even turned 20. <laughs> Having platinum records, how does it feel, man? It, feel, it feels great, man, just to just be here, man, and just to share the opportunity and come to Milwaukee, man, and just be here for my birthday, my 20th birthday. Sure. We're about to shut it down, out the tour. Y'all know what time it is. Pull up on your boy. It's a turn up tonight, you dig? Yeah, so from your humble beginnings, when did you decide that you wanted to be an artist and, and what was the inspiration from initially to get into the rap game? Well, just my inspiration to get into the rap game and it's never was that rap game, it's just always the art. You feel me I was always in the music and it's always just, just singing and just always just in tune with just music and just musically inclined. So right. just being a part of it just all my life, you feel what I'm saying? I went from going from Doing what you, what, what you call it in auditoriums, the singing Christmas carols in the mud, in the cafeterias, even just everything. So we just like just building up and just being humble, knowing my worth, and if it's just time to go, you did. It's supposed to drop summer. When, when can we expect this life of this? I, 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 can, I, look, 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 I can never give you a specific finger on it, but okay. just know in July, in the summer, it's coming, man. It's coming. It's definitely, man. It's definitely coming. Oh, shit. Look like they be like reading poems and shit in here, y'all on some psychic shit. Psychic. Oh, some spiritual healing shit. Oh, these okay. You already know where we at? Look at this, we got the lava lamps and all Man. that. I'm waiting for Miss Cleo to pop up. Can you hear me? This a nigga was in the crib beating his knee for his birthday. I've been getting money all night, all night. I've been getting money all night. I played her with this brick like a mania. She slipped it up for the same. Come on, bro. I'm saying we're walking about to turn the bitch up. We gotta do the shit. Something on this up like this for some other stuff. Hey, 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 hey. Scammers, wake up beside your shit, let the sound go with your lighter shit. That song completed the whole fucking set for this shit. That song completed the whole set. It was like, yo, I made you feel good. Yo, Billy's like a bully, bro. You got the head on the sink, I'm gonna get to my brother's shot, right? He made me sound like he wanted to do that. Oh, 
I don't really know fucking cupcakes and shades when I slam that shit in your fucking face, nigga. I see, Corey, what you're doing, Corey. I see what you're doing, Corey. What? No, I'm just being prepared in case shit goes down. This nigga always spinning. Come on, we can go. You want to go? Let's go. Alator. It's a scary movie. It's a scary movie. It's a scary movie. It's a scary movie. Scott is having a nervous, nervous break. Nervous break, man. That little bit of music. You're fucking on that. You're the you know. <laughs> And he walked no, past it. Listen, bro. What's wrong with you there, bro? Bro, what's going on with you there, bro? Why would you walk? I don't know. Oh, wait, wait. What's wrong with you? It's not me, bro. It's Corey. Corey, the whole night been fucking up, bro. You just haven't realized that. I'm Yes, from Chris. Oh. Chris, Chris. What the fuck? <laughs> he put him a fake Gucci shirt. <laughs> he put the real tag, the real Gucci tag, on top of the package. <laughs> Don't you ever put no motherfucking rag in his motherfucking food again. <laughs> he violated. Yo. Hey, Chris. No, you bitch ass nigga. You bitch ass nigga. Wait, where's the Gucci tag? Where's the hold up the Gucci tag? Hold up the tag, bro. Ah! You took that, bro.